good. And with that, let's bring in 4029 meteorologist Robert Sir. So Robert, nothing beats catching a fly ball on a beautiful day, some peanuts, cracker jacks, all that. But I know that weather that we had this weekend isn't sticking around too long. The weather was a home run. I see it what was, you did it there. It was absolutely a home run this weekend, but we're going to strike out later in the week with all of the rain that's on the way, unfortunately, which we'll touch on here as we take a look at what we can expect in the forecast this week. First things first, a gorgeous Monday. Uh, just about as nice as it was today will be tomorrow, even with some gusty winds. Uh, and then the rain moves in, especially Tuesday afternoon through through Thursday night, essentially, maybe into early, early Friday morning. Flooding is possible. We're talking about flash flooding and main stem river flooding. The main rivers, the Illinois, the Arkansas, uh, the Buffalo River, as well as the uh, Poto River as well, uh, all susceptible to flooding because of how much rain we could see and what we've already have. Rivers are already a little bit on the high side. Uh, and there's our rain chances creeping up as we get into third or Tuesday afternoon and evening. Uh, pretty wet uh, Wednesday and Thursday, and then those rain chances start to fall off as we get toward early on Friday morning. It's also going to be quite windy as well. We're going to have a wind driven rain at times across the area. You can see maximum wind gusts throughout the week uh, as high as 35 miles an hour at times. And then the, the worst days, Wednesday and Thursday, gusts 25 miles an hour in northwest Arkansas. Not as bad in the River Valley, but still quite breezy. Uh, to the point where that, that rain will be getting blown around as well. And it's blowing our camera around atop the Graduate Hotel here in Fanville, where it is nice and quiet. It's nice and mild. Same thing in Springdale, as well as atop Sunset Mountain, where the sun is continuing to set uh, on this Sunday evening. And it's still mild, 60s and 70s across northwest Arkansas. Meanwhile, temperatures here in the River Valley, not that bad as well. 69 in Waldron, but 76 there in Fort Smith, 75. Uh, in Alma. As we go through the rest of the night, it'll be nice and quiet. Despite it being a little bit on the breezy side, it will also be quite mild as well. Waking up tomorrow morning, temperatures upper 40s uh, to near 60. And then throughout the day on Monday, it's also quite gorgeous as well. No problems if you want to cook out, fire up the grill Monday night. But by Tuesday morning, here comes the rain. And we could get what's called training. We talk about that a lot. It's where a lot of rain moves over the same areas over and over again. And we could see periods of that. But this could be set up like what we saw a month or two ago, where we get a lot of heavy rain, but a lot of it falls at night and in the overnight periods. You see here Wednesday afternoon, things are mostly quiet with some stray showers. But then Wednesday night and into Thursday, the steady and heavy rain comes back. And then it's out of here. By the time we get to Thursday afternoon with some leftover showers before another wave of heavy rain rolls in here Thursday night and into Friday. But regardless, we're going to see quite a bit of rain, two, three, four, maybe more inches of rain, certainly possible across the area. And as I said, those streams and creeks are already uh, running high and excessive rainfall also a threat. This is as far out as I can go Tuesday through Wednesday. I expect the Wednesday through Thursday and Thursday through Friday forecast to either be on the slight or the moderate side because heavier rain is expected on those two days. 50s tonight with a couple of upper 40s and then 70s with a few 80s in the picture for our highs on Monday. Again, if you can get out tomorrow, maybe squeeze in a little around at the driving range, maybe a great day to do it. And then the rain rolls in here as we get toward the middle of the week. As I said, a wind driven rain start to dry out, but cool down as we get toward the end of the week with those uh, periods of sunshine and then showers as we get toward next weekend. Same thing here in the River Valley. Uh, not that bad tomorrow, and then we get that rainfall rolling in here as we get toward Wednesday and Thursday. Also rolling into the studios, Meredith Malky. I'm looking at her right now. Eager to bring you your baseball and softball highlights after the break.